What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be working on the flat top 90 peat again. Um, last video, we did the uh, cab area with all this boom mat, and we actually went out and bought another box of it. And we did buy a roller this time. So don't get mad at us for not using a roller. But uh, yeah, I mean, this stuff's pretty expensive for a box of, I think this is what, 30 sheets? 30 sheets, yeah. 30 sheets, and we still probably have half a box left of the other stuff, but um, the bunk's gonna be a lot more, you know, surface area to cover. And plus we gotta do the floor in the bunk as well as the floor in the cab. So hopefully this will get us pretty much all the way done and we don't have to buy another box, but if so, so be it. We it can is hope, man, we can hope. Yeah, but I think we should get into it and get going. That's a lot of work, man. I know I'm out of shape and all, but a lot of work. So when you do the dynamat or the boom mat, um, they give you that little roller to put on everything with. And I think most people maybe do a floor pan. I think there goes our boom mat. <laughs> or does, you know, maybe like a roof, you know, not a whole semi truck. Majority of you guys watching aren't subscribers, so if you like what you see on this channel, hit that subscribe button, you'll see a lot more of it. you what we're kind of thinking of doing here we're going to be taking off this laminate kind of stuff here isn't that amazing though that it's only like this sticky almost like a like a sticker in a way yeah pretty much it's just a sticker but like we said before we are going to be painting these i think that what the cream color yes these are going to be cream the cream color uh will go great against the burgundy dash and everything so uh we'll scuff these up paint it and we obviously need all new switches because there's we have about five six different switches what was here. the one here it was a three point yeah the clearance lights up here were a three but point you know, like a jake I, break I, switch in yeah, a way it's I just i think the w9 is the same way really the clearance lights or something so but yeah we, we're gonna get all new switches because just keep them all the same and uh and gauges like we said before we're gonna go with digital gauges it's gonna be expensive but it's gonna be worth it it's gonna if you guys awesome. know any yeah. good digital gauges please leave it down in the comment section we've been doing a little research thankfully there's a summit racing that's close to us so we've been you know talking to the guys over there figuring out but you know we need all these different gauges like you know the trans temp the front driver oil temp uh the air temperature pressure. front drive axle air pressure so we've got a ton of gauges we want to you know, keep the cost down, but realize that this is probably going to be one of our bigger expenses yeah. here with uh, getting Gages all day, all digital. So, yeah, but for time being, we did go through and kind of try to clean this up because I think it's all from the factory, all this wiring and everything, but it, it's a mess and it just, you know, it gives me bad anxiety. So uh, we, we went through a little bit, cleaned it up, did it in the truck as well. And then um, uh, the other panel, it's on the other side of the garage. I don't have it on me right now, but... Yeah, so we're gonna be painting this, cleaning it all up, make sure everything's straight because it does have a little bit of a bow in it. Yeah, it's so, got a weird bow right here uh, along the seam line, so we'll have to straighten it all out, pound it out a little bit, and uh, yeah. hopefully put some primer and paint. Yeah, get some chrome on there too, like we always do. That's exactly but we'll right. Catch you guys back out at the shop. All right, so I didn't pick up the camera. You can blame me uh, when I first got here, and we actually got a lot of work done. Number one kind of missing a big piece right here. We ended up pulling these fairings off. Uh, we're still trying to figure out if we're gonna order the hot gun or if we might just do those carriage bolts in here again. Um, we are gonna get a back window for this. 
And honestly, I wasn't a big fan of the 63 inch sleeper. I was the one that I wanted to get a 36 and put on this truck. But after seeing it, you know, without the fairings, it, it, it looks good. And it kind of fits the, uh, the frame length on here. This is a 295 wheelbase. So it, it kind of gives you a good section of frame there. It might give you a little bit too much with the smaller bunk. So we're gonna go ahead and keep this, but moving on up to here, I finished dynamating the whole inside of the sleeper. We redid the whole floor um, as well as doing up the cabinets a little bit. So that came out really well. And now Scotty and I, uh, who's my helper today, my extra set of hands, we're gonna pull off the doors because somebody made a really good um, comment. They said, when you paint that cream color, do all of the frames around the door as well. So we're gonna take the cream all the way into the inside here because there's gonna be that seal that sits in here. So that way then we can totally get the whole unders and, and you know, all the edges in the door, clean all that up, pull the hinge out, really go through all the bracketry in here for the window, replace all the seals and just make it look new and you know, sound good and look good. So we're gonna work on pulling these off right now uh, we're going to start with this one, move over to the driver door, and move over to the bunk uh, door as well. So, Scott, we want to grab the, the impact and hit these off. Make him do it. All right, Dad, put the camera down. I'm going to move your ass. This door's heavier than I thought. I'm going to hold that one. There's, hold on. There's four. Because they're all different. Seriously? Yeah. You had it right? Kind of. All right, you better put that camera down, man. So Dave and I, when we were doing, here, come closer, you gotta, I want you to get this on camera. When Dave and I were first taking apart a lot of this stuff, we noticed that this cowl panel was pretty screwed up. Um, and I wanted to know, you guys in the comments section, and everybody that watches this, how do you think we should fix this? Because I, honestly, I have no idea. Um, whether we get maybe cut off a section here and weld in a new section, or, um, you know, I. Somebody got a little silicone happy and just started siliconing stuff up and really never fixed the issue. So we're taking it down this far. We got to fix it. And I just, I'm not sure what the correct way to fix it would be. So if you guys know anything in the comment section, please drop it down there. Let us know uh, if you know of any aluminum welders in the area, uh, in the Ohio area. Also drop a comment down below because we could get this welded and just a new section put on. Northeastern. Well, Ohio. Northeastern Ohio, yes, thank you. Uh, Thanks, Scott. That's Southern Ohio. So uh, we got to get that fixed. We also got a dent right here we got to get pulled out. Uh, we'll probably get a stud gun for that one, and that way we'll just pull it out little by little until it, we get it somewhat smooth, and then we can just level it out with a little bit of Bondo. But um, this uh, this will be easy. This is going to be the challenge. But we got a little bit more to tap on tonight, so we're going to put the camera down and get going. We can finally take a break. Um, we've got a majority of the sleeper boom matted in. Uh, we're working through our box here, and uh, you can see we're kind of getting down to the nit nitty gritty. So as I as I'm holding up about ten sheets of this stuff, but I mean this stuff goes super quick in a in a 63 inch sleeper. Um, and our necks kind of hurt because the whole time we're kind of leaning up and and rolling it in, but. Uh, Boom Man actually only recommends a, a 20 to 30 percent coverage, and um, Dave, I don't I, I don't know about you, but I think we did about a 95 percent coverage. Uh, pretty much every panel we coated. Um, we are going to have to get another box because we're going to do the complete floor in this in this uh, in this sleeper because the cab is done as well, and we're going to redo the cab and put a fresh boom mat covering on that, so that way everything in this truck and cab has fresh you know sound deadening material in it. Um, that's the right way to do it. Um, spend a little extra money, you know, where it counts and, and driver comfort of being actual to actually able to hear themselves think. It's going to be like a uh, like a totally silent chamber in here. Um, not with that big B model cat though. That's gonna that's gonna still be rumbling up front. So we finally put this panel in though. We were getting a little anxious. We had everything sitting in the boxes and um, 
it looks incredible. I mean, I, really, the day cap company, they take their time when they make all these panels, and when you put them in, it really shows because everything sits just like factory panels would. Um, this one, we all we had to do was bend, bend up the flaps at the correct points, and it just popped right in place. Uh, we don't even have it screwed in, and it's sitting this well. Um, so... But one thing we did notice is uh, we're probably going to add a sleeper window in this in this sleeper. I think it will help bring in a little light because once you get this dark color leather in here, um, everything I think is going to just get real dark real quick. Um, we're going to add obviously some LED lights. We've been looking at uh, a few different options, but I think the sleeper window is really going to help uh, just bring some light in here. We'll tint it of course so that way you can see out but nobody can see in. I think that's the right way to do it. But uh, it's getting it's getting kind of close. Uh, we'll be able to put in more interior. I I think we'll probably hold off on putting the full interior until we do all the body work and stuff because we just don't want to get it dirty. At least when it's staying in the boxes, everything stays clean. Um, less work for us because uh, we're gonna have to you know reclean it anyways. So less work for us to have to just do it multiple times. But of course, we'll we'll, we'll put in some videos of us putting a little teaser clips of. Um, at least laying it in there so everybody can see what it's going to look like. But guys, this looks, this looks cool. I wish you guys were all here and you know, you guys can see it. Uh, but the camera we'll have to do for now, but I I'm happy as can be. We're going to have to get out of here and, uh, go get some, some parts ordered, go visit our friends over at Chrome Depot and get some stuff on, on order over there. And we've already ordered a bunch of other parts for this truck. So we've got a lot of stuff coming in the next few days. I'm going to be Really good friends with the FedEx guy, let's just put it that way. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here and uh, we'll catch you guys all tomorrow.